Let's now talk about the Gerber liftoff test. This is a common special test that's used to rule up a tear in the subscapularis muscle. So taking a look at these psychometrics right here, the sensitivity is very bad, all the way down at 35%, and then the specificity is very good, all the way up at 98%. In other words, if somebody has a positive Gerber liftoff test, or simply liftoff test, there's a 98% chance that they have a tear in the subscapularis muscle. Now, because the sensitivity is very low, just as it was in the belly press test, these two special tests should not be used to rule down a tear in the subscapularis muscle. In other words, if these tests are negative, it doesn't tell you anything. In order to be able to say anything regarding the status of the subscapularis, the test would have to be positive. And then if it is positive, there's a really good chance they have a tear in the muscle. To perform this test, the patient can either be standing or seated. I'm going to be demonstrating this in the standing position. The patient will then functionally internally rotate their shoulder to allow them to place their hand on their back. And specifically, it's the dorsal side of their hand that's going to be in contact with the back, not the palm of the hand. Once the patient has attained that position, they're going to attempt to further functionally internally rotate their shoulder, as you see right there, to lift their hand off of the back. So first you put it on the back and then lift it off the back. And that's what gives the test its name, the liftoff test. A positive Gerber liftoff test is going to be reproduction of the patient's familiar shoulder pain. And again, just like with the belly press test, most likely you'd already have some special tests that were positive that ruled up the presence of a rotator cuff pathology. Now, one more important note here. In order to perform this test, the patient obviously has to have the range of motion to get the arm and the hand behind the back. So if they don't have the range of motion to do that, there's certainly no way they're going to be able to lift it off because that goes further into the range of motion, particularly for functional internal rotation. So if they don't have that range of motion to get the arm behind the back, you're not going to be able to perform this test. In that case, you would have to default to the result of the belly press test, which is acceptable, because if you look at these psychometrics, they're almost identical to those of the liftoff test.